Here we are, Declaration of Principle number 8, which states, We believe that the highest morality is contained in the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right? That's the golden rule. And that is a beautiful rule. That rule has, has been around, has come forward thousands of years ago. It's been in every culture. It's in every religious text. Isn't it fascinating? I just, it is a universal law, a spiritual law, a very evolved, high vibrational uh, law to live by. It's a foundational principle and it's called the golden rule. Some cultures have called it the silver rule. And you can look that up for yourself, but it just goes back into ancient Egypt, into, into uh, the Persian culture, the Phoenicians. It goes back so, so far. Uh, uh, incredible, beautiful, even into ancient Sumeria, right? We even see elements of it in the ancient Sumerian clay texts written in those beautiful and strange, otherworldly, cuneiform uh, uh, writing styles, right? Uh, but anyway, this principle basically is telling us that you know, just do for other people like you would like to be treated is really what it's saying. So, you know, I do go out of my way to open the door for men and women. I have no problem uh, with that. I am happy to place others in front of myself. I'm happy to uplift my students in a way that hopefully they will become better than me. I'm happy to donate my time, my talent, my treasures, my gifts of spirit, my gift of voice, my gift of presence, my, my love, my light to communities in this way, just as I'm doing here in the video. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That is the, one of the most gorgeous of principles that, that, that I love to share. And I hope that kind of uplifted your spirit and brought a little light to you today. But really think about that because when we step into this principle and we embody it every single day through our thoughts, our words, our actions, you guys, that's a karmic process right there. We are literally, I'm going to say it in two ways. One, we're either burning off negative karma or we are lightening the heavier karmic debt we have created in our life. So we are literally shifting the balance of karma spiritually for ourselves and we're making our life more blessed, more, more synchronistic, more abundant. And your life literally gets more blessed. More, it, I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. So I love teaching the principles of karma. That's a whole nother video series. And, uh, but I want you to think about uh, karma in relation to a lot of the principles. How do you live your life? Okay. But let's, deep, let's dive into now the last video in this series, Declaration of Principle number nine, right there. Click that video and I'll see you in the next video.